Snow-capped mountains, clear blue skies and a lake that's even bluer. Not a bad place to be waiting for a lift. I'm in the southern outs of New Zealand waiting for a guy who's promised to give me a lift. And I've been told to expect something pretty amazing. Yeah, well, that's pretty amazing. It's a bite-sized hovercraft called the Slider. And its inventor, Steve Priest, has made it as affordable as a second car. Steve! Oh, this should be fun. Ready? Yep, yeah, let's go! The slider is the real thing. A hovercraft that's just as home on land as it is on water. It's got a top speed of 90 kilometres an hour and one of the most awesome burnouts in the business. You're free from the ground, uh, you're flying in a way, and uh, as long as you uh, get used to the fact you're not always pointing in the direction you're travelling, it's great. So it's a freedom that most other vehicles don't have. Steve's obsession with hovercraft began as a 12-year-old. He built one at age 17, and soon afterwards, he started racing them. I was involved with the hovercraft club scene for many years. Uh, I used to race my hovercraft and go on trips with uh, various other club members. And generally the hovercraft were noisy, unreliable, and uh, they looked real ugly. So Steve came up with a design of his own, the slider. So Steve, take us through some of the features of the slider. How, how does it all work? Well, the, the driver will sit right there on the, uh, on the passenger seat. Uh, handlebar steering, uh, twist grip throttle, just like a motorbike. That controls the engine. We have a, a 55 horsepower engine sitting in there. Uh, that's a German engine that we, that we import and uh, that drives your thrust fan. And there are two centrifugal lift fans, constantly sucking air in for the air cushion. And how long does it take to build something like this? From start to finish, uh, around about three weeks. So Christopher Cockrell may have been credited with inventing the hovercraft in the 1950s, but it was Leonardo da Vinci who first considered a craft floating on air. If only he were alive to see this baby in action. This thing can go anywhere, except up steep hills. And in terms of the environment, it's low impact. Because it is flying above the surface, especially over water, there's nothing underneath to harm any animals such as uh, fish or turtles or those sort of things. Uh, it'll actually hover over a person without causing any harm as well. The secret to the slider's success is the skirt system. It's built in sections and incredibly robust. It certainly gives it a flexibility. It's surprisingly tough. It's good when you're coming up against a wharf or bumping up against a boat. I've even seen it absorb a lot of impact if, uh, if someone doesn't uh, drive it too accurately. Well, let's test that out, shall we? I've seen the expert in action, so let's see how I go. Do you reckon I could? Are you sure? You trust me with it? Yeah, go for it. Green button. Oh, green button. The slider is ideal for recreational pursuits. In NZ, you'll need a boat license to drive one on water. The slider costs 35,000 New Zealand dollars. That's about 32,000 Australian. But can it handle a novice like me? No worries. That didn't hurt a bit. Well, after spending a bit of time on this thing, I now know why it's called the slider. And if I can drive this, anyone can.